here is we're going to show you how to set up your screen, your desktop with all your files on it for the upcoming term to be successful and organized. So if you see here, what I've done is I put in term four 2023. I already marked a calendar for term four. So even though it starts next week, I got ahead of the game and did that. I would recommend that you do that every term. It's just get ready, have something ready for the following term. Once you realize what your courses are, you're going to go ahead and create a calendar. So if I do here, I would click new folder and I will put in term five, 2023. And then once you start to understand what your courses are, you can open up and you can put in here. So let's say for next term, I'm going to put in, I know my courses already are going to be English 110. And let's also add there, we're going to say management 105. Okay, so these are my two courses for next term. And now what you do is you go in and you start filling out each particular week. So I open up English 110, I do unit one, and then unit two, and then so on. So that's how you would set it up for each term. And what I've done here is I've already created one for the upcoming term, which is term four. But for those of you that are, once you get registered for the following term, and again, in this case, 2000, or, uh, term five, make sure that you set yourself up a folder with the courses or course or courses you're registered for. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up term four. And you can see I already have the two courses I'm in for term four in here. I know I'm gonna be taking CR CRJ 101. I know I'm gonna be taking CTC 101. So these are the two courses that I've set up. And with each folder, I'll go into CRJ and we'll use that as our example. So what I've done here is I put in CRJ, as I demonstrated before for term five, getting that set, I put in unit one, unit two, and so on right through unit eight. So I'm gonna show you now the next step, which is very important is for each particular folder, I have everything set that I need for the week. This is where I'm gonna put any assignments I have for this week that are ready to go, okay? So as I do an assignment, I'm going to make sure I put them in the correct folder for the correct term, the correct course, and the correct unit. Very important. So as long as this is done, um, it makes it very easy for you to keep track of things, right? And what you want to do is you want to make uh, file names that make sense to you, right? So here is something here. This is a document criminal justice process. I just named it that just to show you an example of something that might be here that you might have in a criminal justice course. The file is saved here. A lot of times what you're going to see is these files will come through and be saved in the in the um, on Blackboard and they'll be saved as like a file name that makes no sense. It may be a group of numbers. It may be just a uh, just something that doesn't make sense to you. So make sure when you save it, you put you clearly state what the document is in there in a way that you can understand what it is. So this is the reading for the week that I've downloaded and it's criminal justice process. That's what I decided to call it and that's what makes sense to me, okay? Discussion board, a lot of you like to write your discussion boards on Word because you're familiar with Word. It does a good job of spell check before you put it into, um, into, the, uh, into Blackboard, which is perfectly fine. So what I've done is, is so I can archive this stuff and have it saved just in case something goes wrong. I now save that discussion board here in oh, as a Word document and I've saved it in this folder and I call it discussion board. Now, you may want to call it discussion board unit one. You may want to call it unit one. Um, you may want to name it after the topic for the discussion board. Whatever works for you, it's perfectly fine. And in this case, also, I started working on a draft of my paper. I'm really, um, I'm really well organized. And I decided I'm going to just jump right in and start working on my draft for the big paper that's due at the end of CRJ 101. I go ahead and I put paper draft in here again, just like with discussion board, just like with the document. That is the name I've chosen because I most it makes the most sense to me and works for me. OK, what you want to do is you want or what you want to avoid doing is not having things saved as just Word documents with no real rhyme or reason because that's how stuff gets lost on your computer. Again, and I usually, you can put them wherever you want to. 
I recommend putting them on your desktop because that way when you log in and you have your desktop set up perfectly fine, everything is right where you need to find it. Now, for those of you that have a desktop that may be using it for work or for something else, very simple. So you don't lose track of this stuff. Put it under Post University. Or you can put it under um, Schoolwork. Again, whatever works for you. It's very important that you just have it saved in a, in a place that's useful and meaningful to you. And then what you do is you put everything in here, okay, in this folder and everything's syncing and you go ahead and you have it done. And then uh, once it's done, oh, I actually have this open in another program, so I can't do it. But once you have this done, everything will go in here, right? And then now instead of having to look for term four, term five, whatever on your desktop that may have a bunch of work stuff on there, you know this is where you go to for um, for your schoolwork or you can call it post you, whatever you wanna call it. But again, it's there, it's on your desktop, <laughs> you know very easily where to find it, um, real simple. It just makes your life so much easier and so much better for you as far as preparation for your courses, it's going to save you time because you're not going to lose coursework or not be able to find where you put stuff. And most importantly, it's going to keep you, um, it's just going to keep you uh, organized and just in a good frame of mind because when you're cluttered digitally, it's a lot like when you have a house that's dirty or your car has uh, old coffee cups from driving the drive through or whatever. Um, it's you, you just get cluttered and it gets frustrating. It's so much better if you have things organized like this. So I highly recommend you guys set up in a similar system for you. This is what works for me, but again, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea. You name the files, whatever you want to, put the folders wherever you want to, if it works better for you somewhere else. Uh, another thing I wanna talk about here too, as I mentioned in other parts of the workshop, is having, uh, if you want to put it into uh, somewhere else, like say Google Drive, or put it on, um, uh, you know, put it on our system here, um, using the share drive or whatever, up to you. You can certainly do that, but I'm just giving you an example just to show you. If you know you're gonna be using a particular computer, you wanna have things saved, that's fine. Most of you still like to do that. If you wanna put it on the cloud, just do the same thing and have it set on whatever cloud platform you're using. So whether it's Google Drive, whether it's um, iCloud, wherever, just make sure you set everything up in the same manner when you're doing that, okay? Thank you.